Chaz, thank you. Barry. Cameron, glad to be here. Thank you, Tanya. I want to really, your husband was very crucial for my career. He was very crucial. 1989, in Cannes, for Do the Right Thing. Your husband got behind me because there is motherfuckers, excuse my language, in the press were saying that Do the Right Thing was going to incite black people to riot that this film should not be shown in the United States, that black people riot, see the film, take to the streets. This film should not be, at least not let it come out in the summer. <laughs> and the great Tom Pollock says, Spike, releasing the film on June 30th. Mm -hmm. Film came out. There were no riots. But it's so interesting how white audiences go see all these violent films. Let's not name any names, but they get look at these films that come out of theater and not destroy anything, <laughs> not shoot up stuff. So the struggle still continues. It's not an even playing field. We've got to keep, keep getting on. And I remember, I know it was a long time ago, and you should let some grudges go. But David Denby and Joe Klein wrote articles the New York Magazine saying, hope to God that this film does not open in your neighborhood. That this film, Do the Right Thing, would incite black people to tear shit up, to take to the streets, like Detroit in 77 or Newark in 1968. So, Thank you, everyone. Thank Rod, because he, he went to bat for me. And many years later, we're on the right side of history, her street. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah.